have a special guest tonight with us. Special guest, and Mr. Guest tonight is Nick Jones of The Clash. <laughs> Next to Nick, the special co-host for this evening, Kate Tyler. Uh, we've been talking to Nick about some things, aren't we? Uh, Nick just uh, came in and kind of played the other night at the plating on one of the greatest thoughts I've ever seen in a long time. And, uh, we feel unexpectedly because he's been excited that they couldn't get out. Look, yeah, it's a shock. Yeah, it's a shock. Yeah, it's a shock. Oh, you just put the airport for shock. And I've got this mail, right? And he's, um, he reckons about the end of the world is coming, and he thinks they're going to start it by getting rid of Birmingham in England and Minsk to the Ukraine, right? And probably Philadelphia, right? And it's, 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 after that, it's like a brief nuclear exchange, like between whoever. Yeah, that'll be the first nuclear. No, that'll be the first bit, and then they want to like be okay, and then just like, so it's like, uh, it's run by 75 year old blokes, you know, I ain't got much left to live for anyway, that's like a Chinese bloke, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we think that New York might want to be one of the first places to go because in this country they've managed to take all the intelligent people and move them into one city so that if they could get rid of this one city, clearly then all the rest of the United States would be exactly like ABC, NBC, and CBS. Yeah, what's going on in London right now with the petrol and all that? Yeah, what's happening in London? We hear a lot of reports that England is Very falling apart. Situation. And it sounds like really horrible but also really interesting. Like it might be better than um, the things are going all right. I haven't been here for two weeks, but it was too bad when I was there last. It was like, oh, it was snow, like there's snow here. And uh, it was uh, all people queuing in the petrol. Like if you wanted to go anywhere, you had to queue in the petrol run out. There's no cars in the street. And uh, there was no food in the supermarket. Like, like you can get probably food in like corner stores, but the supermarket, because there was no truck. And then when I came over here, someone said that the garbage men went out. So I don't think it's getting any better. It's all these things in the snow. Oh. And oh yeah, my house got cut out of it as well. Your house got cut out of it? Yeah, they stole all my stuff. All my old and stuff. The video equipment, how's that for a depraved rock star? <laughs> <laughs> so what's that? that? Yeah. Oh, I think that's all right. Yeah, you got Nick it's better than when Mozart started having a house. You got, yeah. He lost everything. Oh, I feel so crazy for it. He lost I everything. Nick lost his um, video equipment, his apartment. Oh, no, I haven't lost that. I'm going to go back to lose that because they're fixing it soon. Oh, uh, right. Well, soon as I'm with Nick, as we all know, is a multi-billionaire. My own in the hall of luck, so, you know, like, five. <laughs> Oh, so was about to tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Right. It was, uh, we were, I was saying, like, yeah. You know, I had a nice controversial photo of you walking out of a photo section. Oh, man. Did you start out of a photo section? I think the ones, you know, that we put more control to that to clean ourselves, uh, and then start out of them, you know? Well, I don't know if Okay, the worst thing about uh, being in the music business is the lack of communication between musicians. The lack of money is the worst thing. The lack of money and asking questions between musicians about money. Like who knows about contracts, who knows about deals, who knows about managers. Who wants to talk about it because everyone is, has their own feelings, you know, their own fears. But really, the but musicians should talk about it because they're not in competition they, at all. They really should. They really should, Glenn. That's a good point. There should be uh, a whole open discussion between musicians just to say, hey, I got this much money here, and what do you think about that? Is that right? But who does that? But what I want to... They don't talk to each other, though. That. No, they don't talk to each other. The group's getting on together. 